Hello friends, I'm Tim Wildsmith, and in this video we're going to be taking a closer look at the Berean Study Bible. Okay, so a few weeks ago, maybe even a couple months ago, I started to see chatter online about the Berean Study Bible. I'm in a lot of different Bible Facebook groups, and people started showing pictures of these and ordering them, and people, it seems like they were just genuinely, genuinely excited about the Berean Study Bible and what it had to offer. So I ordered one up. Really cool Bible. I did an unboxing video if you want to see my first impressions of this one, but I, I want to do a full review so you can see all the specs, and if you've seen people talking about it online, this can kind of walk you through so you can show you what it actually looks like. Up close. So, so just a little information about this before I show you the actual Bible itself. It's it's from the folks at Bible Hub, really cool organization. They've actually done a four tiered translation system, and and it's 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 really wild. They have a, an interlinear Bible. They have a literal translation of the Bible. This study Bible is it's it's not an actual study Bible with study notes in it. It's their phrase of doing a more a dynamic translation of the Bible, so kind of between word for word and thought for thought. And then they're also doing an annotated Bible, which is more on that paraphrase, thought for thought side of the scale. So they have four different translations kind of under the Berean Bible heading. And so for just, just so you know, it's not a study Bible you think about when you think about like the NIV study Bible or the ESV study Bible or the life application study Bible that's chock full of study notes and, and indexes and, and things that help you kind of dive into the meaning of the text. The, their phrase is that it's a Bible that you can study with, so that it's a Bible that's a, a middle of the road translation between literal and thought for thought that is easy to study from, easy for public reading, and very useful for modern people in, in, in a normal context. That's what their idea is when they call it the study Bible. So that's what this is. It's a pretty simple, straightforward Bible. I'm going to show it to you now, just all the different specs on it. But uh, yeah, if you haven't already, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel here. I've got a lot of great Bible reviews just like this. So without further ado, this is the Berean Study Bible. Okay, here we have the Berean Study Bible on the outside. It doesn't come in a box or anything. It just comes wrapped in plastic. You see Holy Bible imprinted into the cover. It says Berean Study Bible. There's a nice little perimeter stitch that kind of offsets. This is the tan soft cover. It's kind of a, a synthetic leather material. It's got a nice little texture, spine, very clean. It just says BSB. Um, does anybody else, when they see BSB, want to start singing, Back streets, back, all right. Didn't think I was ever going to sing Backstreet Boys in a Bible video, but there you have it. It's got, <laughs> it's got come on, y'all. That was, that was funnier than you acted. It's got a paste down liner. It's uh, got a glued, you can see in there, it's got a glued text block. It's got a single yellow ribbon. This is definitely a Bible that, you know, this one was, I think, on their website, you pay $45 for this Bible, and then they have a hardcover. There's a couple of different softcover editions for $45, and then the hardcover editions are like $30. Or, or maybe it's $40. This is $40, and the other ones are $25. So for $40, bucks, you are not going to be getting all the huge premium touches and things like that. It's very clean, very simple, but it looks good, and it feels good. It's, it's got a nice flop to it. It's big, but it, I think it... To me, what I would say is this looks nicer than a $40 Bible from the outside. It, it just, that's what, that's what, what my, my vibe would be on this one. So as far as size goes, seven inches wide, nine inches tall. So it's a pretty broad Bible and it's about one and five eighths inches thick with the cover. Now, let's open this up. Holy Bible, Berean Study Bible. Here's your copyright page. So as I mentioned, it's from the folks at Bible Hub. There's some information about uh, the use of it, as well as the different, this is the different Berean Bible, the interlinear, the literal, the study Bible, I mentioned that. It's printed in the USA. I know a lot of people want to see that inside their Bibles. Table of contents. Here's a preface. So it's giving you some information about um, the translation and what their goal was. This is the tiered translation structure that I mentioned. So there's an interlinear, there's a literal, there's the modern, which is this is the more modern study version, and then there's the emphasized translation, which is the annotated one that is not completed yet. So Greek, Hebrew, and Aramaic sources, and the abbreviations here, and then you get into the text. So opens really flat. You can kind of move this around. It looks really good. Um, I'm just going to open it up a little bit and kind of center it here for you. You can see really wide. That 7-inch text block is coming out, so you probably got 
about 14 inches here plus that. I mean, it's really wide on the table here in front of me, but it looks really good. It's a two column text. Doesn't have cross references, but they do have the textual notes here at the bottom of each page. And then in some of these sections, you'll see, so here in First Kings, you see Saul anointed king, and it tells us there's also a similar place in First Chronicles where we can read more about that. So it's not a traditional cross-reference per se, but there are some cross-reference style things um, thrown in throughout the Bible. See, page like this, a lot more notes, that sort of thing. So two-column text, it is a 10.5 point Cambria font. I, I would say that it looks like the, the leading, the spacing between the lines is even greater than 10.5 points. So it's very, um, it feels very free on the page. It feels very spaced out very well. So it's a two column text, 10.5 point font. It's not line matched. You can see a little bit on the other side, but it's 30 and a half pound paper. And if you do the conversion, that means this is about a 45 GSM paper. So it's very opaque. It's got some thickness to it. It's easy to turn. It, it, it looks and feels good. It's very, it's very white. It's kind of crisp, but the font looks really good on the page. You get bold verse numbers so you can find your place. The textual footnotes come across the bottom of the page. So overall, it's just a really, um, it's a really uh, simple, clean setup that, that looks pretty sharp um, as far as, as just reading through it. It feels pretty wide open. There's not a lot of margin space, but there's some. As far as the translation goes, I, I went to a, some of my favorite passages around the Bible and read it, and it does kind of read in that middle tier. So the literal version, they're kind of putting it more in the camp of the New American Standard or the ESV and the KJV, whereas this one, they're kind of comparing it more to the, the CSB or the NIV. And that feels right to me as I read through it. It's, it's, it's comfortable to read. It's easy to read. It, it feels like the language kind of flows pretty naturally when you're reading it. It's not, not, not the Yoda Bible or anything like that. Getting into the, the poetic sections, you see here the Psalms, it's a poetic type setting, verse by verse. Um, some of these look really good and really easy to read, and in, in a few of the pages, it gets really spaced out, lots of line breaks. That's a little bit um, overwhelming to my eye, to be honest with you, but um, overall, I think the, the text, the text is, is spaced out pretty well, and it, it's comfortable to read. Now, moving over here to the New Testament, if I can get there. You never realize how short the New Testament is compared to the Old Testament until you flip through a Bible or do all these reviews and it takes forever to get there. Consistent, similar. It's not red letter text. It maintains black letter throughout. Um, everything kind of just kind of continues to move straight through. So if you find this, this text block, if you find this typesetting attractive and comfortable, that's going to be pretty much the way it is all the way throughout. At the end of the Bible, we get to... The last page of Revelation, it's 1494, so it's almost a 1500 page Bible. A simple table of weights and measures, and then the back. It doesn't have a concordance, it doesn't have Bible maps. So again, very simple, very clean, very streamlined. In terms of the, the overall look and feel of it, I think, as again, I said it, I think it looks nicer on the outside than a $40 Bible. On the inside, it's very simple and clean. So um, they've, they've refrained from putting a whole lot of bells and whistles in this Bible that would have made it more expensive. And I think that's cool. I think it offers a really neat option for a physical copy of the Bible that, that looks good, that feels good. And it's a unique new translation from Bible Hub that they have, like, as I said, that tiered system is very unique the way they're doing it. Um, as you noted, I said this in the intro, it's called the Study Bible. There's no study notes in here. So typically you're thinking ESV study Bible where there's a single block of text and then half the pages is study notes or the NIV study Bible. This, their, their idea of calling it the study Bible is that it's a, an easy Bible to read and study from for, for normal everyday people in today's time. So that's the, the idea behind it. So don't be thinking that you're buying a big dense study Bible um, when you buy this. It's more of a Bible that's just a comfortable translation to read and designed well just like this. So there you have it. That's the Berean Study Bible. This is one of the soft cover editions. They also have hard cover editions as well. I'll put some links in the description to where you can purchase one of these if you'd like to do that. And I would love to know your feedback. I know a lot of people are fans of this Bible. It's, people have been chatting about it. So if you're one of those people, definitely leave a comment in the video and let us know why you love it so much. And if you've just seen it for the first time, 
let us know what you think about this one. I think there's a lot to like about this. It's new, it's different, it's very simple and clean, but it feels great in hand. I, I will say that. It just it feels really, really nice when I'm holding it in my hands and it has a good, a good look and feel to it. So really cool stuff from the Brian Study Bible folks over at Bible Hub. Thank you so much for watching this video. Definitely check us out on Instagram and Facebook. We've got a great community out there. And while you're here on YouTube, hit that like button and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Definitely go ahead and, and go to the homepage of the channel and surf around and see the other videos that I have out there. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time.